so today is going to be an interesting one because nothing is going as planned so the parcels last night i couldn't print any of the labels because there's an issue with royal mail which seems to happen more often than it freaking should with ebay and one of the guys has called in sick so i need to go to marlow to cover him i don't even know what i'm what i'm doing there i've not read the diary <laughs> but i'm going to marlow and i might well be there most of the day i've got absolutely no idea what's going on so i've got to go to marlow now i've got to be there for eight o'clock in the morning and i've also got another one two three four five six jobs booked in for high wickham which is a pain in the backside i've also got to take the garage to john because the garage the truck to john to fix it john works at the garage to fix the noise failing that it's gonna to have to be tomorrow which is yeah and i've got to pick up the kids as well today is just going to be an absolute ball ache i can just tell it sounds really stupid and it's just dawned on me but i'm going into a gun club as in like active firearms so i i, I can't use my phone for anything we've got to be escorted <laughs> there's there's nothing for me to do or show. It's, I'm gonna go dark for like, I don't know. It could be an hour. It, it could be three, six. I've got absolutely no idea. Uh, but it's now quarter past eight. And yeah. <sighs> I have to do some actual manual labor for once. Uh, can I have a medium sweet chili wrap meal, please, with a Diet Coke? Medium sweet chili wrap meal with a Diet Yeah. Anything else? No, that's it, mate. Yes. Cheers, mate. I definitely said mate, like, one too many times there. As you may have guessed, I've left the job in Marlow. Turns out, it takes a lot less time to get me involved. That was incredibly average, but it will do. It bent in a bloody muck rib, that's for sure. Time to go drop off some clothes for one of the workers and then I plan on getting the, the motor into the garage. However, this morning I did cancel it because I didn't know how long I'd been in Marlow for. But turns out, not very long at all. So hopefully you can still take it. Failing that, it's gonna have it tomorrow, which will make my life far more difficult. So time will tell. So John can't have the van today because we already, well, he already called up and said, I might not be able to get round to you today. It just depends on what happens with me being in Marlow. So as anyone would do, he's started doing other things. So it's going to have to go in tomorrow. But that's going to be fun because I currently have eight jobs or sites I've got to attend to tomorrow. Only one of which I can get to before nine. And then the ones that I've had to cancel and reschedule today, I've got to go to those as well. So I've got a fair whack to be doing tomorrow and I've said, look, it's, I'm going to get to you, like, to the garage, but it's going to be well after 12, so hopefully he can get it done in time because the truck also needs to clean, as you would have seen from yesterday. But, oh, yeah, there's a lot to do tomorrow. Uh, what happened Never lying? I think up until half six this morning, which was quite nice. Oh well, onwards and upwards. So a little trip to the charity shop. Bought one thing, we've got a Moana doll down there, and that is it, nothing else. Went to another charity shop, relatively new, in a relatively nice, posh area, and everything was just grossly overpriced. There was a box of Lego, it must have been maybe twice as big as the, uh, the one that I bought two days ago and they wanted 95 pounds. They had a Harry Potter book of monsters. Didn't know if it was working or not. They wanted five pounds for that. I think if you're gonna charge those sort of prices, you, you need to show that it's working in my personal opinion. But I'm obviously currently driving. So uh, I'll catch you guys in a little while. How perfect is this for Halloween? So we are out as one with a little witch, a little witch, and the one I'm married to who is lovely. Trick or treating is done, and we've had just a one sale. However, it's three of the same, and it's going out to the same guy who bought these before, 
three of these at £15 each. But for some reason, my listing's not combining the postage, so I'll just refund them the, uh, the difference. But they cost me a five each. I've now sold seven at 15 each, which isn't too bad at all. Jesus Christ, it's cold. Just put the youngest to bed. Um, it's now about half eight. It's just a bit after that, I think. I sold another item as well. We've got an Ace 10 Classic Collection Mewtwo in the Gem Mint 10. That was pulled from uh, one of Viv's mystery slabs. I think it cost me 20 quid. And that sold for 39.99, which is quite nice. Um, after fees and that, not the greatest, but you know, it's all part of the game, I suppose. So I'm hoping I can get these labels to print because yesterday it wasn't having any of it. Um, and I've now got 12 minutes to get the labels printed for everything. Otherwise it will not be collected tomorrow, which would prove problematic. I miss the summer. Work badly. Uh. See you later.